After 12 years of counseling with people, I discovered that there's fundamentally five ways that people express love. I call them the five love languages. One of those languages is words of affirmation, using words to affirm the other person. You look nice in that outfit. Wow, do you ever look tough tonight? Simply using words to affirm them. A second love language is gifts. Uh, my academic background is anthropology, the study of cultures. It's universal to give gifts as an expression of love. And for some people, this is their primary love language. This is what really makes them feel loved. And then the third love language is uh, acts of service, doing something for the other person that you know they would like for you to do. In a marriage, it can be vacuuming floors. It can be uh, getting bugs off the windshield, walking the dog, changing the baby's diaper, anything that you know your spouse would like for you to do, acts of service. And then there's quality time, giving them your undivided attention. I'm not talking about simply being in the same room. I'm talking about looking at them, listening to them, responding to what they say, giving them your undivided attention. It's a powerful way to communicate love. And then number five is physical touch. We've long known the emotional power of physical touch. In marriage, holding hands, kissing, embracing, the whole sexual part of the marriage. And out of those five languages, each of us have a primary love language. The key is to discover the primary love language of your spouse and speak it on a regular basis.